This video will describe how to mount vibrators into a standard power curbers hopper. This example is a 20 inch wide curb and gutter mold that requires two vibrators. These are the pieces required for the vibrators and hanger assemblies. The vibrator hangers, two rubber isolating blocks per vibrator, and the vibrators. If the rubber blocks are not already attached to the hanger, attach them at this point. Both rubber blocks should face the same direction. Attach them to the two lower bolt holes. The elongated slide holes of the two mount bars should be connected using one of the vibrator clamps. The bolts on this clamp should point the same direction as the rubber blocks. The other vibrator clamp will be used on the top bolt holes to connect the vibrator mount to the hopper. You can now attach the vibrator to the mount. The mounting fin of the vibrators bolts to the rubber isolator blocks. You will need to determine which direction you want the vibrator to face. Orient the vibrator and its mount so the vibrator hanger faces towards the inside of the hopper, keeping the vibrator hanger out of the corner. This reduces buildup of concrete and eases in cleaning the hopper at the end of the day. Repeat the process for the remaining vibrators. With only two vibrators in this case, they will be a mirror image of each other. One vibrator will be for the gutter portion of the mold. Place this vibrator in the hopper. The nuts of the top clamp should be on the outside of the hopper. Orient the vibrator so that the mount is towards the center. Position the vibrator so it is four to six inches from the toe of the curb. The other vibrator will be for the head of the curb. Position it so it is centered in the head. To adjust the height of the vibrators, look from the rear of the mold and place the tip of the vibrator approximately two inches into the top of the final profile. A two by four or four foot level can be handy in gauging the depth. Make sure to sight from the finish end and not the choke. Setting the vibrator depth off the choke will cause the vibrators to be installed too high. The choke is the portion of the mold directly behind the hopper. It slopes up into the hopper and is not the final shape of the concrete. Adjust the vibrator height by sliding the mount bars up or down. When your desired height is reached, tighten the nuts on the mount clamp. Secure the hoses to the vibrator mount using tie wraps or wire. You will need to tie the hoses outside of the hopper as well, so the concrete doesn't pull the hoses in and cause a blockage. When connecting the vibrator hoses to the machine, be sure that all connectors are clean. A rule of thumb is to start with vibrator number one on the outside of the mold, farthest from the operator. That is the head of the curb in this case. With this vibrator plugged into the number one ports on the machine, the vibrator for the toe of the curb will be your number two vibrator. Placing the vibrators in this order, makes it easier for the operator to keep track of which vibrator he is adjusting. Please see our video on vibrator placement for information on molds of different sizes and shapes. 